I'm sure you've heard that jingle before. If you haven't, I really don't know how you've made it to this video, but regardless, welcome. Because ladies and gentlemen, today we're talking about the Goliath, the number one, the big money bringer. You already know I'm talking about Demon Slayer. You already know we're not talking about no One Piece. You saw the thumbnail, stop it. Instead, we're talking about that series that's going on season three, Big Demon Slayer bringing in oodles and noodles of cash. But the question is, is the money flow about to stop? We all know Demon Slayer is a Goliath and has been ever since it came out. But what if I told you after after season two, things might change. Back in 2020, Demon Slayer was number one by far, but that was also the year that the series ended. The only other series that was close to Demon Slayer at that point was One Piece. Now with the Demon Slayer anime still going, I mean, you see what they're doing. Yeah, you see that? This is on the daily for them. But what if you heard that the series does not get better than this? Before we get started, please consider subscribing to this channel. We're mainly stick to the short form content for you weaves, but every now and then, I wanna bust out a long one. My choice of words are just awful sometimes. So if you like anime content, subscribe to this channel. If you want the gaming content, go look at the Akko channel down below. Now let's talk about the rise and the fall of Demon Slayer. As I hinted on before, Demon Slayer probably has the best art you'll ever see. Matter of fact, I'd rather just say they have the best animation, period. Now there is a reason to that, and that's because they don't pick up too many shows. Looking at their list here, they really do the same thing over and over again. It's almost like they sit around waiting for Demon Slayer to come back every season. But it's perfectly fine because nobody's complaining about Demon Slayer. And plus, the other animes that they do have, we simply don't talk about. I mean, like, come on, bro, what is this? So when it comes to the studio Ufotable, we will specifically pair them with Demon Slayer. And you know, for the past couple of years, Demon Slayer has been on top of the charts. But truth be told, it's mainly because of the animation, not the story. Not saying that Demon Slayer's story is yucky stinky, but it's for sure nothing to write home about. Now, why am I hating on it? Well, first, let's go ahead and take a look at the plot of Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer has a very, very simple story. The main character, Tandro's family, family gets attacked by a demon. His whole family is slaughtered except one family member that is turned into a demon. Why not just kill her? I really don't know. Anyways, because the world despises demons, they will despise her. However, like a great brother, Tandra decides to become a demon slayer to stop other demons and to find a cure for his sister. Now, practically every character that is a demon slayer looks for the main cause. Muzan here is the cause because he's the first guy that's making demons. So while the other demon slayers are looking for Muzan, he's over here flexing his powers on on people that can't even fight. I mean, seriously, these are normies here and he's just killing them for fun. Or he'll spend his time flexing on other demons because he feels like they don't need to exist anymore. Even though, you know, he's the one that promoted them and made them, but whatever. So between the story of hunting down Muzan, the whole story is filled up with many, many gags. Now here's where it's a little bit different compared to other shonen. You see, Demon Slayer spends a lot of time working on their comedy. And when I say a lot of time, I mean, if you look at the season two, literally half of this is just comedy. However, if you look at some other big shonen, some of these other shows have either a very slim amount or none at all. I can't even recall the last time I seen Aaron Yeager smile. Demon Slayer will use their gags to pull along the audience and then capture them in. I did say before that this show is famous for the animation, before the times that Studio Ufotable is not flexing their animation skills, they decide to throw in a few gags or two. It's not a few, it's, it's a whole lot. However, besides that, that's really it. Demon Slayer's characters don't really have a huge goal in mind. Again, the main character, Tandra goal is just to save his sister and the whole Demon Slayer core wants to just get rid of demons completely. So within the premise of the show, it does look like a big feat, but think about how many times they repeat the same formula. Tanjiro is the character supposed to have sympathy for any demon he kills. Even within the most recent entertainment district that was still shown after Gutero and Daki have passed. But note that he's really the only character that shows this sympathy. The thing is, how many times will us as viewers care about these demons? I understand that Gutero had a terrible backstory and his life previously made him who he is today. However, his past does not make it okay for him to start killing people. Then there are demons like Daki that don't really have as much of a reasoning. You see, Daki did have an experience at which she did start, but because Daki was quote unquote beautiful, she didn't have as many bad experiences as her brother did. So does she really have a reasoning to act the way she does? It's worse because we know that there's a bigger demon out there that treats them like nothing. There's multiple scenes within the entertainment district 
district at which Muzan treats Daki Oops. like a, Oops. like a, you can fill in the blank. But as soon as an audience sees this, she's not as big as bad as we thought. If you don't understand what I'm trying to get at, it's that Demon Slayer will continue to use the same formula. Even within the new season, most of this I just mentioned will be true. The question becomes how many times can people still love the exact same thing? Now I must say that is a crazy statement to say, but it is true. The people that do love Demon Slayer to the death are going to stay on this show. But if you're watching this as a casual viewer, at some point you're going to start having deja vu. But there is another reason why Demon Slayer could start falling off soon. It is true that Demon Slayer is not as popular within the West. If you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you heard of the famous movie Demon Slayer Mugan Train. Whether it's Mugen Train, Mugan Train, you know what this movie is. And you see, this movie did break records using the same formula I mentioned before. Tanjiro and friends are on a mission to go find a specific demon and stop him from killing people. While being on the train, they find said demon and, well, what do you think happened? After defeating this demon, they try to give him a small backstory, but it doesn't really make sense. So after Tanjiro feels bad for him and he disappears, we move on to the next demon. It just so happens that it's not time for this demon to lose yet. Oh, but don't worry, Demon Slayer fans. I am positive he will get his sad story in the future. But regardless, this movie did hit numbers. But as I mentioned before, it hit numbers in Japan, not really on the West. Looking at the numbers, this is the number one movie in Japan. And please don't write that off. This is a huge monumental feat. I mean, look at some of these big boys on the list. Frozen, that movie with a boat. Let me just stop. That's actually cruel. But for real, these are big movies, but Demon Slayer just swept them away. And if you really want to talk about the moolah, Demon Slayer's movie made 40 billion yen. Now, I know you're not a walking calculator, but if I translate that to US dollars, that's 300 million US dollars. Now, listen, I'm just going to assume you don't have that in your bank account. Majority of us won't even touch a fraction of this amount anyways. Now, listen, I could be completely wrong. And if so, I'm sorry, Drake, that could be chump change to you. But I'm gonna just reckon that it's not. But again, the numbers weren't as big in the US, mainly because anime is not popular. Now, it is becoming more of a norm in Western nations, but think about it. How many people do you see usually just watching an anime? The sad part is some people get introduced to anime because of Snapchat filter. Ew. So to sum this all up, my point is that Demon Slayer will start going downhill next season. Now, Demon Slayer is still a juggernaut and a lot of people aren't caught up on the manga. Therefore, this is still new content. But alas, some people do believe that Entertainment District was Demon Slayer's peak. And besides, we know that it's gonna be a similar formula again. But listen, Demon Slayer still did knock off One Piece, so I can't be mad. And overall, I could just be wrong. Maybe they just hit numbers this year that I'm not expecting. But even if I am wrong, I really don't mind because anime success is perfect perfectly fine to me. Now then, boom. If you like this form of content, subscribe to the channel. We'll try to stay to new big anime when they come out. This season is the Demon Slayer season, so I don't see us talking about much more. However, if you want more of me because I love you too, I have another channel to talk about games. Hit the notification bell to stay tuned with both of the channels, and I guess I'll see y'all when it's another anime coming out. <laughs> well, I should say an anime that we care about. Y'all have a good one and take care. Peace.